in the hall of the mountain king. In the country of Norway, a boy named Peer lived on the forest's edge, where the trees and mountains are tall. His little house faced west so he could always see the sea. When the sun was out and the smell of adventure was in the air, Peer loved to go exploring. He always found treasure, rocks that were round and sparkly, lizards that were brown and bumpy, and trees with branches spaced just right for a boy to climb. One day, Peer ventured through the forest and out the other side, farther than he had ever been before. There, he found the best treasure of all, a castle. People had often told stories of a mysterious mountain king who lived beyond the forest. Maybe this was his castle. Peer couldn't wait to find out, so he slipped through the front gate. At first, he tiptoed along, careful not to make a sound, his eyes wide at the wonders before him. The stories were true. He saw the mountain king's riches with his own eyes. From passage to passage and room to room, Peer grew more confident. Maybe he could be the king. He walked and marched. He skipped and spun on the marble floors, wishing the day would never end. Peer rounded a corner, and who did he bump into? But the mountain king himself! Peer had been so enchanted that he had forgotten one important thing. He was an uninvited guest. Fear of the Mountain King's fury seized Peer. Fear of dark dungeons, fear of never again seeing his little house by the sea. Peer ran like he had never run before. The Mountain King bounded after him. Peer was faster. As Peer raced through the castle, he slammed doors behind him, hoping to slow the Mountain King just enough to escape. They ran and ran, doors slammed and slammed. Each door brought Peer one step closer to freedom. But the Mountain King was getting nearer and nearer. One last door stood before Peer. One final door until he was free. He ran, he jumped, he slid through the door. Slam! Peer didn't look back as the castle disappeared into the forest beyond the mountain. As he found his way back home, he made a promise. From this day on, he would have his adventures closer to home, at least for a while.